everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout 3! So I think today it's finally time to leave Megaton behind and go out into the wasteland and explore a bit. But as I said last episode I would like to make like one final round in Megaton to make sure I haven't missed anything. I don't really expect to find much so I'm going to cut this from the video unless I actually find something that is new and that I haven't seen before. And um, I do want to skip until morning so I can actually see what's going on and uh, to make sure people are awake. So eight hours should be more than enough. And then we will have like one final sweep of this place. And yeah, um, I will bring you back when and if I actually find something. Oh, hey, look at that. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care <laughs> of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we have heard of her, but I haven't spoken to her yet. So apparently um, there was at least one person that I missed. Um, okay, we have a bunch of questions. Sure, let's ask all of them. Um, who takes care of you? Well, it's Billy. She just told me, but whatever. Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. Well, that's nice. But yeah, what do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. And um, can you tell me more about the town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. <laughs> and I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day too. Well, I'm not sure if Billy's advice uh, really uh, took hold though, because you are talking to me and I'm completely a new in town and you don't seem to have a problem with it. But okay, what's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Mega 10 longer than anyone. <laughs> okay, well, I've already talked to her, so that's it. Bye, lady! Okay, well, um, so we found another person. I still think it's kind of funny that everyone is telling me, oh, you need to go and talk to Manya if you want to know what's uh, the word around town. And once I finally found her and asked her that question, she didn't really have anything to say about that matter. So, uh, that was kind of odd. I mean, she did have a lot to say about the history of this place in general, but that's really it. Anyway, I'm going to pick up this trash because I might be able to sell it later. And now I will continue to look around. Dad usually doesn't like when I talk to strangers. All right, we got another person here, Harden Sims. I'm guessing you're related to our sheriff. <laughs> and even though you're not supposed to talk with strangers, apparently you will talk to me. So who takes care of you? My dad, of course. He teaches me to shoot and about the law and keeping people safe <laughs> when he's not busy protecting the town, that is. All right, so he's the sheriff's son. Makes sense. And what do you think of Megaton? It's great. My dad says that one day I'm going to get to be sheriff, <laughs> just like him. So is that a her hereditary position? <laughs> anyway, who else is around town? There's the stalls. They were in the Brass Lantern. I go there to eat with my dad sometimes. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird, but him and Mother Meyer are always nice to me. There's also Moriarty, but Dad says I'm not allowed to talk <laughs> to him. Yeah, I have met all of these people before. And are you going to send me to Manya as well? There's the stalls. They were in the Brass Lantern. I go there to eat with my dad sometimes. Oh, I picked the wrong option. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird, but him, there's a What I wanted to ask is, what's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. <laughs> I'd talk to Manya, if you cared that much. 
She has lived in Megaton longer than anyone. All right, so again, the same dialogue. Anyway, gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> sorry? Why are you sorry for that? That was an odd reply. Um, yeah, that's the sheriff. And we got a bunch of unnamed settlers. So I'm guessing that's maybe all now. The people that I missed so far were basically the kids. Anyway, I will make sure that I haven't missed anyone else. Alright, I finished my tour around Megaton. I didn't really find anything else. Um, one thing that I did do is I sold all the crap that I picked up last episode. It got me around 40 caps, so that's not too bad. But I guess now it's time to finally head out into the world and explore the wasteland. So yeah, let's go. So, this guy's still here. Welcome to... Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. Of course, I still haven't found any water for Mickey. I mean, he said there would be water in Megaton, but I haven't found any. Megaton. At least, no water I could buy. Down around. Anyway, who's this guy? Doc Hoff. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and mm. the finest of chemical assistants. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? All right, so you're basically a traveling trader. Tell me about your trade caravan. Yes, please. I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to discerning customers around the wasteland. I help ease the suffering of my fellow man for a price. Of course. <laughs> I don't have a home office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. And I guess by discreet chemicals you mean uh, drugs, right? Um, I'm here to buy. Can you repair something for me? Yeah, sure. Show me what you have. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall <laughs> magic we? Bag. Why do you talk to me like I'm five years old? <laughs> Um, okay, I mean, it looks like the usual kind of stuff. Nothing that I really need at the moment. I'm not seeing any water. Does anyone around here actually sell just some normal purified water? Um, there's a schematic, nuka grenade, so that's interesting. But um, while I have a bit of money again, since I sold all that uh, crap, uh, I feel I don't really have enough to go on a spending spree just yet, so never mind. And I don't need anything repaired, so gotta go. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Right. All right. Need some grub? And yeah, sorry, Try Mickey. I still lantern. can't help you. Um. Anyway, let's have a look at. Our oh, map, Super Duper Mart. Yes, that's where I wanted to go, right? For my first kind of side quest here. Optional, find medicine in the Super Duper Mart. Find food in the Super Duper Mart. Of course, I'm um, kind of intrigued by that rocket over there. <laughs> so maybe I want to make a very quick detour and check out what that is. I mean, my quest is in that direction. Yep, somewhere over there, so it's not that much of a detour, I guess. Huh. I can see some NPCs around. Allegedly a friendly one. No enemies so far. Ooh. Hang on a second. What is that? Oh, it's an, um... What are they called? Eyebots? Yep. Enclave Eyebot. Oh. Can I... Can I talk to you? 
Uh, well, I guess I'm not programmed for that kind of interaction. Just playing music. Hmm. Okay, well, never mind. Megaton is in that direction. Well, um, I'm not sure what this rocket is supposed to be. I guess it's just like a sign. Or it used to be one anyway. Oh, oh, oh! What happened to me? What happened to me? <laughs> I am suddenly very transparent. Well, this is something that I've never encountered before. Hang on a second. Can I somehow remedy that? Um, maybe if I change my peril for a moment. Okay, now back to the other one. Okay, there we go. I mean, if it actually makes me transparent, that um, may have some advantages. People can't shoot me. Bullets go right through me. I wouldn't mind that. Um, all right. Anyway, um, yeah, I will have more to explore here later. But the issue at hand is, well, my presence. The question has been raised, I know, as to just how I came to be elected. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to listen to that now. I will maybe at some point listen to that enclave radio if I want to hear what they have to say. Um, instead, let's actually try to find that super duper mart. I mean, clearly, this used to be a road of some sort. Ooh, hang on a second. I can see an enemy somewhere over here. Somewhere? Oh, I see. It's a giant worker ant. Okay, um... Gotta get a little bit closer before I can smash you. <laughs> there we go. I mean, as long as the enemies are of this kind, I guess I can use my bat and save me some bullets. But eventually I probably want to, you know, actually start shooting stuff. Um, okay, maybe I'm just going to follow the road. Okay, I can see another enemy. Where are you? Oh, okay. I see you. Let's get close enough for a good hit. And apparently two or three hits are enough for a giant worker and <laughs> which makes them a little bit more dangerous than a red roach, for example. Anyway. Onwards we go. Oh, well, this place has like a nice view over the landscape. Clearly, this used to be a larger metropolitan area. And what's up with these dead Brahmins? This is not like a bad sign. I mean, maybe they drank the radioactive water over here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going in the right direction, right? Let's make sure, because I feel I should be getting close to my... Okay, I am getting close, and I'm going in the right direction. As a matter of fact, this over here might be the super duper mart I'm looking for. Yep. 
Yeah, this looks promising, but um, where do I get inside? Oh, oh, um, I can see potentially two enemies on like the other side of this. Could they be inside the building? You have discovered Super Duper Mart. Oh, um, what the hell? <laughs> what? What did just happen here? Something just blew up. Um. Okay, but. No, I don't see. Oh, hang on a second. What? What is going on here? Those monsters. They're, they're gonna get me! Brian Wilkes, those what? What's the matter? Calm down, kid. What the heck is the problem? Yeah, what are you talking about? Those... things! They keep coming! They scare me! Make it stop! Can you be any more precise? <laughs> what things you're talking about? Strings. Hey, kid, it's okay. I'm a big, tough lady. I can take care of you. Hey, hey, calm down. It's going to be okay, I promise. Unless you tell me what the problem is, I can't help you. Okay, kid, I'm going to say it won't stop your whining. Yeah, it's okay. I am a big, tough lady, clearly. <laughs> you look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Really? Can you... <laughs> Apparently can that you was a successful me? strength check. I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Right. Sorry, kid. Help costs caps, and you look pretty broke to me. I don't know, you look like a tasty snack for a monster. <laughs> sure, tell me more about this. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. Okay, so I have to look for your father. But, I mean, if the monsters killed everyone, then he's probably dead as well. Okay, I'll go look for your father. What happened here? Can you tell me more about the things attacking Greyditch? Where's your house? I have to go now. Yeah, tell me more about these monsters. Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. Okay, so some kind of mutated ant. I mean, we just killed a few of them. They're not that dangerous, so these might be a more dangerous kind of ant. Um, yeah, is there any special way to hurt them? My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking <laughs> ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Okay, the antennas. I will try to remember that. And have they always been around? Nah. Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. Okay, um, maybe I can ask about other stuff as well? Alright. What is it? So tell me exactly what happened. It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to D.C. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. I see. And who else lived in Greyditch? Um, besides me and my papa, there was... Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. <laughs> I... guess they're all gone now. Probably. Um, and did you know the others well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is really relevant to my task anyway. Alright. What is it? Um... Mind if I ask you about some of the people who lived there? Again, not sure if this is relevant, but who knows what kind of information we will get out of this. Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. Hm. Alright, tell me about Doc Lesko. 
He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, hmm? but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. Where did Dr. Lesko stay? Do you have any idea what Dr. Lesko was doing in Greyditch? Did Dr. Lesko have any weird stuff in his place? <laughs> um, do you have any uh, special suspicions about this person, Mara? But yeah, uh, where did he stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny looking TV machine with the hmm. green words pushing buttons. So, a terminal. Anyway, any idea what he was doing in Greyditch? Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think hmm. they got him too. Or maybe he has uh, something to do with the appearance of the ants. Um, yeah, did he have any weird stuff in his place? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. Hmm. That was kind of neat. So I guess he was some kind of scientist and he had a robot. I guess I should try to find that place. Even if Dr. Lesko is gone, there still might be something of value for me. Yeah? And tell me about the Brandis family. Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Where did Brenda's live? So you and Will were good friends. How about Will's parents? Yeah, where exactly did they live? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so hmm. close by. And you and Will were good friends. Yeah, Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic <laughs> books with me. We explored okay. pretty much every bit of Grey Ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. And everyone else didn't know how to hide? Okay. What about Will's parents? Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. <laughs> Will's dad was... Well... I don't want to be mean, hmm? but he was kind of scary. What do you mean by that? Yeah, tell me more about that. He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. <laughs> Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. I find it kind of funny that apparently he's not familiar with the concept of a computer or terminal, but he does know TVs, since I have never seen like working TV around here, but terminal still works, so <laughs> it's a weird comparison to say, yeah, it's like a, a TV, but TVs don't really have any kind of function anymore in this world, right, because there's uh, no real TV stations anymore. <laughs> Um, okay, I guess that's all I can ask here. Yeah? Let's see. Alright. What is it? Um, yeah, where exactly is your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Okay, I guess I will have a look at that. But first I need to have a look at the Super Duper Mart. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. I will try my best. And I mean, all these questions uh, concerning the doctor and the other people may hint at the fact that it is not just a random occurrence of ants killing a bunch of people, but that there might be more um, hidden in this uh, incident. Um, yeah, sure, let's try that speech check, even though it's not great in terms of odds. You know, hey, maybe finally. this will help, and maybe it won't. But Papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and a dumpster. He trusted me with the key, and said it was for emergencies. But I bet he wouldn't mind you having it. 
All right, well, that actually might be useful. Note added Brian's special key. Um, is there anywhere you can hide while I search? This probably isn't the best place for you to stand. Okay, kid, I'll say it. I do it now, scram. Yeah, can you maybe hide somewhere while I investigate? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. What kind of personal shelter is that if you're supposed to stay away from it? Quest added those. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me have a look at it. Find Brian Wilkins' father. Okay, so it's not too far away, but still I would like to continue with my current quest first. Um, yeah, let's be careful here because... <laughs> I saw some enemies and what seemed like an explosion not too long ago. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is an indication that the area could be mined and uh, maybe some of these raiders stepped on a mine or something. But hey, um, I will totally take all uh, the stuff from you. I mean, for the moment I'm just going to very indiscriminately, oh wow, <laughs> take everything and uh, then try to sell it later. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened here. Clearly there must have been some kind of fight. And a wastelander. Huh. John's key. Wasteland settler outfit, wastelander note. Okay. Let me have a look at the note that I just got. Brian Wilkes gave me key to a special cache of items. It's located in a dumpster behind the old diner in Greyditch. Billy, I'm sorry I stole it. You deserve to have it back. Remember the old scrapyard north of Bethesda ruins? <laughs> really? <laughs> Look in the burned out bus in the northwest corner, near an old red box car. Tell Loreen I still love her and I'm sorry for everything. I hope somebody finds this before the buzzard tear to pieces your loving brother John. Okay, so there's something potentially valuable at the old scrapyard north of the Bethesda ruins. <laughs> I guess I will check this out as well at some point. Yeah, but whatever enemies I saw earlier, I guess they already died to some unfortunate for them event. Fortunate for me. Um, also, is any of the stuff that I just picked up something I would like to use? How does the headband look like? Nah, nah, I don't really like it. It's more like a head covering, so... Yeah, I got like some new types of armor, but I don't think that's anything I would like to wear. And... Uh, well, a Chinese pistol. <laughs> Seems kind of crappy though, <laughs> but I mean, there might be other uses for it. I can sell it or if I'm low on ammo or whatever. Anyway, um, time to get inside the diner, I would say. Yep, that's the super duper mart and this is the door. Now let's look around. Noca Cola Quantum. <laughs> this is like a special sort. Ooh. Yep, we definitely have some enemies in here. So let's try to get the first hit on them maybe oh well um 
I almost didn't see you over here. Sure, let's go for the torso. There we go. And of course now this guy noticed me. Um, well, these chances are not great. Maybe I'll go for the leg. I think I don't have like a clear shot here. Oh, uh, well, there's even more. There's quite a lot of raiders inside this place, apparently. I don't like that. But what can I do? Gotta get rid of them. Well, hang on a second before I go into the next uh, confrontation. Let me use a stem pack or two. Yep. There's another one. And I think I need to get closer if I really want to hit this guy properly. There's so many inside here. I didn't expect this place to be filled with raiders like this. Yep, that's the end of my vets. Let's take some cover here. And now let's go for this guy. Okay, is that all for the time being? Well, at least uh, these guys give me some good loot. Now I do see another enemy in that direction, so gotta be careful. But um, let's make sure first that I pick up all the loot here. Pretty sure there's another one that I haven't looted yet. Yep, that's a bunch of new weapons. So that's something at least. Okay, now let's try to find that one enemy that I've seen here. Is he somewhere through here? Oh. Yep, he is. Got you. Alright, that was a good <laughs> clean kill. Not too many bullets wasted on this guy. Oh, and now it begins. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess I don't really need all of these um, pieces of armor. So let's drop some of them, I suppose. There we go. Um, no, there is a lot of stuff that I can investigate around here and potentially loot. But maybe before I take care of that, let's make sure that I haven't missed anyone around here. Don't want to get surprised by another raider. Okay, we have a terminal over here. It's easy. But even the easy one is too difficult for me. What is my science skill? 20. Okay, so I should invest some stuff into uh, Okay, this is locked Oh, well 
There's a bunch of pretty useful stuff here. Tales of a Junk Town Jockey Vendor. Is this like a magazine that can give me skills of some sort? Barter. Okay. Yeah, that's not really a skill that I need at the moment. But okay, um, it seems fairly safe here now, so... Let's look around and uh, pick up some food. And <laughs> maybe some other stuff that I find. But then again, since I'm almost over encumbered again, I probably should be a little bit more picky now. Super duper pharmacy key. Oh, well, this actually might be useful. I mean, I just saw a door that was locked, so a bottle cap mine. <laughs> Some grenades. I will take those. Oh, this stuff is pretty valuable. But yeah, I guess I don't need to pick up like all the junk in here since I won't be able to carry it all anyway. Now, let's see if we can open the door. Yep, here we go. Ooh. What do we have here? Locked very easy. Activate automated maintenance. Okay, apparently very easy <laughs> is just easy enough for me. Hacking. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password. Okay, this is uh, same as last time. In the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking anytime and try again. All right, let's see. Yep, this is the same hacking game. One of five is only correct. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, could be this one. One letter correct, which is the R. Okay, now it's two of five. Uh, wrong. No, this can't be it. This has more than two in common with prone. Um, can't be this one. Can't be this one. Can't. Uh, no. Drink. It could be this one. It has one in common with track, which is the R, and two in common with prone, which is R and N, right? Nope. So, we're going to start this over again. Let's try this again. One of five. <laughs> um, alien. Okay, this actually worked. Bit of luck, but... I don't mind. Um, <laughs> run maintenance routine. I mean, I don't really know what happens if I do this, but who cares? I'm going to do it anyway. Loading sequence. Ah, oh, yeah, it's activating the Loading protection over here. Rob Go. R04 V9 Office Helper <laughs> Running Default Office Protocol Error uh -oh. Loading Daily Agenda Error Security Breach Detected Please Stand Back Um, well, at least he seems friendly towards me. The... Uh oh. Hang on. Something ain't right here. 
You're right about that. Will you take care of that protectron? That's a security breach, not me. I reactivated you, right? I mean, as long as I'm inside here, I'm hopefully safe. <laughs> okay, um, you do whatever you gotta do. A mini nuke? <laughs> what? I will take it. And I will look around here for some stuff. Ooh, look at all of this. Oh, okay, that's the stuff that I needed for my, my quest. There we go, that's one task done. What is all of this? Oh, um... I guess I will take the shiny Nuka Colas. And I guess it doesn't hurt to pick up the other as well. Um, but I haven't actually found any food yet, right? That part of the quest is still open. Yeah, find food in the Super Duper Mart. Um, apparently the vodka doesn't count. And I'm not seeing anything food-like around here. I don't think I need the vacuum cleaner. Okay, um, but I mean there's a lot more in this Super Duper Mart that I can look at and <laughs> uh, this, this is going to be so much fun again, making sure that I'm not over encumbered all the time. Um, again, I guess I'm going to drop some of this stuff. Now, um, let's be careful here because, yeah, there's new people around here. Apparently, we got reinforcements. Okay, um, I need to get like a clean line of sight for this guy. Oh, there's another one. They basically just all respawned. Let's see, what are my odds here? I guess I'll take them. Oh, that was a terrible shot. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try this again. Damn, that wasn't too great. Alright, I gotta retreat for a second here and use more stim packs. <laughs> yeah, the gun combat in this game is still a bit wonky. Alright. No, I don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot this guy. Ow! There we go. That worked a lot better. armor behind since well look at that I leveled up now let's see what are we going to do here uh, I guess I will need a bit more lock picking um, since I am mostly using small guns at the moment I feel I should be increasing this as well let's increase speech a little bit better that's always useful and Explosives, so I can eventually disarm the bomb. 
All right. And, okay, another perk. Daddy's girl. An additional five points to both the science and medicine skills. I mean, this is actually not too bad. That's like ten points just for free. Sure, I'll take it. All right, um, I can still see an enemy over here, so... Let's make sure we take care of him. Oh, well, I guess, uh... Let's see Protectron. <laughs> I guess the raiders destroyed him. Poor guy. All right, stealthy attack. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. So, is this all of you? Do I have to kill? Nope, nope. There's another one. Okay, that worked well enough. Um, okay. Let's make sure that the area is safe. This is just back out, right? Intercom. Well, that doesn't actually do anything. Can I go inside this place? A laser pistol! Well, I will take that. And another one. <laughs> And over encumbered again. Oh, a stealth boy. Well, that is useful. And might be able to open this. There we go. Empty. Well, there's some food. Okay, that's the food that I was looking for. Which means um, I have all that I need and I can return to Moira. <laughs> of course, uh, there might be more useful stuff in this place. And I will have to, you know, get rid of some stuff since um, I'm already carrying too much. Either way, um, I think that is enough for this episode. I will maybe spend some time in between episodes to, you know, very thoroughly look around this place and make sure I haven't missed anything valuable. And then in the next one, we can maybe return to Moira. Or maybe I want to go and uh, investigate that end problem first. I don't know. I will make up my mind about this in the next time. But for now, let's call it a day. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.